back in ETV. Hello everybody, welcome to a very windy balcony here in London. Thank you for coming. We've got a kind of Mary Poppins-esque backdrop, which is a bit different to when Janet came to see us last time. It's Janet Devon, if you didn't recognise everyone. Thanks for coming up. No, thanks for having me. It's great. Now, what singing are you going to sing for us this time around? This time I'm going to be singing Things We Lost in the Fire. Okay, we'll look forward to hearing it and we'll have a little chat at the end, okay? okay. All right, in your own time, guys. So beautiful, so delicate. Now tell me, Janet, this song here, you know, Things That We Lost In The Fire, what's that about? Oh God, heartbreak. You know, I would have been in one relationship in my life, but I managed to write a lot of songs about it, <laughs> so. Yeah, but the best songs come from the heart, don't they? You know, is that what you find that you write about most? Yeah, if it's not happening to me in my own personal life, then I don't see the point in really writing about it, to be honest. So everything I write is always about what I'm going through. It's like, because it comes from my journals, which are like the journals of a teenage girl so it's just like loads of poetry that I've written that just turn into songs. <laughs> Do you feel sort of slightly nervous about sharing that with the world or does it not bother you? I think the last time I got nervous about performing them was I was doing a gig in Belfast and then loads of my friends were going and I was like 
I've introduced every song about this guy and he could be here. It was, that was the only time I was like, oh my God. But was he there? No, thank God. <laughs> But do you think he knows that they're about him anyway? Oh, he does. I played them to him. Like, I've played him the songs. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we like them anyway, despite all of that. <laughs> no, uh, there's a lot of them, obviously, on the new album that's out. You wrote with um, some other big names in the music industry, didn't you? Yeah, Jack Savaretti and Newton Faulkner. So that was pretty, pretty wicked, to be honest. And these songs are going to be played at the tour that's happening later on this year? Yeah, the tour's in December, which if you go online to jamatdevon.com forward slash live, you'll see all the dates there when you can go to a gig, hopefully. <laughs> Have you enjoyed making the music videos for them? Because that's always a little bit different, isn't it? How do you find that? Uh, I've enjoyed every single one of them. I think that like the last one was the most fun because I got to put so much creative energy into it. Like I made the mood boards and I did a lot, like, b- b- like all the props and things, and that was great fun. So that came... Not only was the song about heartbreak, and, but a happy, cheerful one. I got to do the creative in the video, which was cool as well. Which song was that then? That was House of Cards. Okay. So we can, we can check that one out on YouTube, I'm sure, with all of your other videos. But all of your social media is on your website that you just mentioned, or do you want to say the others? Uh, well, I've got Twitter, which is at Janet Jealousy. Uh, I've got Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash the Janet Devlin. And yeah, I've got a Tumblr called Derek Javelin. So... Just tell me, where did Je- Janet Jealousy come from? It's a bit of a tongue twister. Oh, God. I ask an 11-year-old me that was obsessed with alliteration. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. So we, we, we were just um, talking earlier about the Irish accent, Janet. And uh, we all wanted to do, do a good impression of the Irish accent. So what is the sentence that we can say to do the best Irish accent? Uh, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, what did I get out of 10? Come on, give me a mark. I'll give it a 7, it was actually really good. 7? <laughs> I'm quite impressed. Can we have a high five for the 7? Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure having you on the balcony, Janet. Thank you for coming up and thank you for playing for our, at our gig as well, which is going to be later on tonight. We're very excited about that. I'm excited too, it's going to be great. Yeah. Thank you. Join in again soon, guys. We'll have another artist on the balcony next time around. Bye for now. Back in ETV. <laughs>